Now to make your spreadsheet look a little bit nicer here or beautiful we want to do some styles and formatting. First I'm going to select everything in the spreadsheet and change the font real quick from the default Arial. To do that it's easier to click on this blank header here and it selects everything and then click up here I'm going to type in V and then already it pulls up for Dana and then hit enter and automatically changes. Doesn't look good but I'll go with it. Click off here in a blank area. We'll click in our cell here, A1, and instead of 10, we'll do size 16. We'll also select row 5, and then F3, so we include our commission. Basically, we're selecting all the headers. B12, I'm holding down the control key while I'm doing this, and B13, still holding control key. Also B15, and then drag and select B16 as well and instead of size 10 here we will do size 12. Now if your text gets cut off here just a bit like January the Y's kinda of cut off in February click off in a blank area. You can go up in between the cracks here of the column C and D and then click and hold your left mouse button down and drag out so you can get a bit more room or better yet instead of clicking and dragging I'm gonna go over between D and E and I'm going to double click really fast. It does what's called an auto fit. It takes the longest text in this column, even if it's on down row 35,000, and it will automatically stretch it to fit the longest text. And the longest text in this case is February. Next, I'll scroll over here and I'm going to select the range H5 through J10. And I'm going to give it a nice little color up on the formatting toolbar. You've got the default color yellow, but you can click on the drop down arrow to the right and select something like maybe a light yellow so it colors it in. Next is I want to give a border around it. It looks like it's got a border, but of course when I click off there's not a border. So I'll click and drag to select it again. And to give it that border there's two things I can do. I can go up on the formatting toolbar and click just to the right this borders box and select maybe a thick border here. And then click off. And that looks really nice. I'll undo it and then select it again. The other thing you can do is you can go under the formatting menu, down to cells, and then go to the border or cancel. And if you're good at right clicking while it's still selected, right click and then go down and left click on formatting cells. And it comes to the border here. Now for the border I want an outline. And let's select the thickest style that we can over here and then click on outline. We can select another style and click outline. But I'm going to go for the thickest and click outline here. And you'll notice it's going to do the whole border of the range that I selected and then click OK. Click off in a blank area and there's my border. Now I'm going to kick it up a notch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select this range, Control C to copy it, and then I'm just going to click in another cell here. I don't have to select the same range, just basically click in a cell where I'd like to paste this. And instead of clicking on the paste button here, although you can click to the right of it and it does have options, you can also go under the edit menu down to paste special as well and let's say instead of paste, pasting the formats, the formulas, everything that's going to come with this I just want the formatting, formats. Click OK and all it gives me is just the formatting it doesn't include the numbers or the formulas that come with it. So if you want to get a little fancy and you just want formatting or do a special paste go ahead and copy it and you can click on the drop down arrow also you can select page special from here or go under the edit menu and I'm going to hit escape a couple of times to get out of the menu here and hit escape to get rid of the marching ants next I'm going to scroll back over or hit control home and I'm going to click in cell B7 now for this one I'm going to create a style here for the employee ID in other words I'd like it to be italicized Maybe I'd like the color by clicking on the drop down arrow. Could be a funny green. Uh, no, that hurts the eyes. I'm going to click on it again and do maybe a kind of a nice blue. Now I've got two styles to this uh, the color and also italicized. And I can actually save this style. So make sure my, I have that cell selected and I'm going to suck in that style by going under the format menu and click on style. And then what I'm going to do is simply click in this box here even though it says normal I'm going to delete it and type in I got style. 
I mean, if, it'd be nice if I typed in something very official like this is um, employee or maybe we'll do that EE employee style. In any case, when you're done, simply click OK. And then to apply the style to the rest of these here or to go to another part of the worksheet here, to select the number range and then go under the format menu down to style again. This time, when you click on the drop down arrow, your style is going to be listed, select it. You can modify it, but in this case, I'll click OK and apply it. Next, if I want to go ahead and put a background for this worksheet that I have here, basically click in a cell, go under the menu format to sheet, and then over and down and click on background. Search your computer for a nice background and then double click. Whoa. And when I scroll down, it tiles it. So where it cuts off at the bottom, I can keep scrolling and it keeps cutting off and starting over again. I am going to undo that. Really quickly, we're going to talk a little bit more about your borders here. Now by default, you've got these lines here. Will these lines print? Well, if you have a question about it, you can always click on the print preview button here. And what you see is what you get. And then I click on it once to zoom into the print preview. No, it's not going to print. Um, we'll cover the print preview and, and how to get everything onto one page when you print it off a little bit later on. I'm going to close out of here, come back. You can see the little dot, dot, dots. That's the cutoff point. Anytime you go into the pre print preview, it's going to add these little dot, dot, dots to show you where the cutoffs are for the pages. And again, we'll cover that just a little bit later on. Now, if you do want to have um, these borders here, for example, maybe I want this to be in a table-like border format, I select it. I can either click on the borders to do a border around it like we just did for this one over here, and I'm going to click undo, select it again, and you don't have to reselect it. I wanted to show you that you know there was nothing up my sleeve here. The border wasn't there. It was gone. Click on the drop-down arrow and select where all borders for all cells, and then click off, and then that way you can have that look when you click on your print button to print, and I'll click on print preview, and you can see there's my borders. I'll click off of it click in to zoom in and then I'll click close. So when in doubt if you're not sure what's going to print, click on the print preview. I'm going to hit control home. A couple more things here when it comes to formatting your spreadsheet or adjusting it just a bit. If you need more room, like I said, you can click and drag to adjust the uh, length of your column or the length of your row here. It's going to say with the column and you can undo that. A couple other things you can do is for example let's say that I didn't want anybody to see February because it was a terrible terrible month and our sales were just awful I can left click on the column header D and then right click on the column header and select hide now all I see is C and E it's hiding in between there to bring it back you need to click and drag over both of them so you can get the, the culprit that's hiding in between now for example if I right click on this and I left click on unhide nothing's going to unhide because it's hiding in between these two. If I you know, right click on this and select unhide, nothing. So I have to click and drag and select the column that's be before it and the column that's after it for D and then right click and left click on unhide and then it will pull out the culprit that's squished in between these two columns that's hiding. Also you'll notice when you're clicking and dragging your column widths, you see that little pop up there? It says width is now 10.57 or 79 pixels. When you click and drag, it goes out. You can also right click and then left click on column width and type it in yourself. Maybe the column width I want it to be 20 and then click OK. Again, you can do it numerically by right clicking to column width or clicking and dragging. Really quick, row height is the same thing. And this worksheet is really looking awful here. I'm destroying it. Right click on the row header, which is the number 7, so it selects the whole row and then go ahead and left click on row height and then type in 20 and hit enter a little bit higher as you may have recalled a little bit earlier on in the video training here we were talking about how when you click on a cell you want to look in the formula bar to see if that's if that's the correct cell because I can click in B1 and there's nothing in the formula bar because again when you go to a movie theater you stretch out your legs if nobody else is there like for example if somebody comes in or I enter in numbers right here and hit enter it cuts it off so I'm gonna delete that and instead I like this to permanently have well this range of cells I'd like to merge the cells in fact let's do this I'm gonna select a1 and click and drag over to g1 and I want all the cells that I selected to be merged into one 
So anytime I click on it, it sees it as one cell and not as all these individual cells. There's a couple ways of doing it. The easiest way is to click on this button, Merge and Center, once you have it highlighted, and it automatically not only merges it, but it centers it. The other way I was talking about is you can um, go to Format, Down to Cells, and then click on the Alignment tab, and you can see that the Merge Cells is checked. You can uncheck that, un well, unmerge it, and then click off in a blank area. And you can see that's a little bit cut off, and that's because the alignment is still centered. If I do align left, well it flushes it back over so it takes up those other seats. And what I want to do is, let's say I type in some text in this cell, a lot of text, and I keep typing and typing, and I want to merge this cell. For example, maybe I want to merge it like this, so it takes up the cells below. Well, I can click on Merge and Center, but the problem is is that it's not wrapping the text because you can see up in the formula bar there's a lot more text here than meets the eye here. If I want to also not only merge it but wrap the text so it has two rows, so the text if it finishes on the first line wraps and goes to the next line, I can right click, go down and left click on Format Cells, pull up the Alignment tab out of all these other tabs, and then select Wrap Text and click OK. And then it fills in, well, there's any extra space there it'll, it'll continue and it'll wrap it and look nice so we have it on two rows here. Hey thanks for watching if you like my video please give it a thumbs up and if you subscribe to my YouTube channel as soon as I upload a new video you'll be notified instantly and you can do that by coming over here and clicking on my face. You can also click here to support me so for two dollars a month you can have access to over 2700 training videos all ad free and for a few bucks more you can have access to my exercises instructor notes quizzes certificate of completion and a whole lot more